Today's tutorial is this very smoky cat eye look. I actually filmed this tutorial a few hours ago, but I could not film this part as my battery died. Anyway, you can see it's held up pretty well. I filmed this at about 2 o'clock and it is now 4.30. So it's been two and a half hours, nothing's really budged, my, except I had to touch up my lips a little bit. But other than that, it's held up pretty well and I haven't used any setting sprays. This look is also very universal, it would look good on anyone, especially if you have like smaller rounder eyes, this will make your eyes look a lot bigger as there is an exaggerated cat eye, it will give you that nice almond shape. If you'd like to see how to achieve this look, please keep watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! So I've already applied my base, I use MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC20 and you just want to grab MAC's soft brown eyeshadow and just blend that into your crease. Next you want to take Makeup Geek's Creme Brulee eyeshadow and apply that just a little bit below the soft brown and blend well. You then want to take some of Makeup Geek's Bada Bing eyeshadow and apply that to your outer lid. I started out using a big fluffy brush but it wasn't really working out for me so I switched to the Sigma E25 blending brush to blend that out really well. Using Makeup Geek's Immortal Gel Liner and Sigma's E10 Liner Brush, create a wing. Curl your lashes and apply a few coats of mascara, this is Maybelline's Colossal. And apply your lashes, these are Le Petit Lapin Lashes in Luna. Apply your foundation, this is L'Oreal True Match in Golden Beige with a Sigma F80 Kabuki. And I just like to blend that out using a Beauty Blender. As usual, I apply my Bobbi Brown corrector under my eyes and blend that out with a beauty blender, of course. And I'm just applying some MAC Pro Longwear Concealer under my eyes and to all those points of my face that I want to highlight. And of course, making sure it is all blended out. And I'm just going to set that all using the banana shade from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and this small powder puff from Inglot. Apply MAC eyeliner in Feline to your waterline and use a Sigma E20 short shader brush to blend that down to your lower lash line. Use a pencil brush to apply Max Creme de Violet and Fig 1 to your lower lash line and blend well. Don't forget to apply some mascara to your bottom lashes. I applied a touch of Max Shroom eyeshadow to my tear duct. Now I'm just going to bronze my face up using a Physician's Formula bronzer. I don't remember what shade this is, but I will leave it in the down bar. And I just applied some of NARS Orgasm Blush to my cheeks. For highlighter, I started off with MAC's Light Scapade Mineralized Skin Finish and then went over that with Soft and Gentle. 
For my lips, I first lined them with MAC's Spice Lip Liner and then applied Honey Love Lipstick, also from MAC, with see-through lip gloss on top of that. Also, be sure to use a lip brush to make sure that the lipstick and the lip liner have blended in together seamlessly. And this is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any requests, just leave them in the comments and I will definitely read through those. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! How do you even start a video? Like, this is so awkward. Okay. For under the. Blah, 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 blah. Will I get this? Will I get this? <sighs> Smoky eye. I think that this look would. <laughs> I can never get this right. Ever. Today's. To today's. Today's. Today. Pretty dramatic cat eye and. Okay. I think that's pretty much it. I don't think I'm gonna get much better than that. Okay.